What's considered to be the most competitive congressional race is right here in central North Carolina. Yeah, now when it comes to campaign fundraising, one party is outpacing the other, but with so much outside money, will it really matter? Both Republicans and Democrats see an opportunity. The 13th congressional district is anyone's game and a costly one. This is, by all accounts, the most competitive potential race in North Carolina. The quarterly financials tell two different stories. State Senator and Democrat Wiley Nickel outraised newcomer and Republican Bo Hines. And Nickel has five times the amount of cash on hand. But we're not going to be outworked. And the, the way we're going to win this race is by talking to voters every day at the grassroots level. And that's what we've done. But Mitch Kokai with the conservative John Locke Foundation doesn't read too much into it. I don't think we can look at this report and say Democrats are much more interested in this seat than Republicans. And I don't think that we can look at this report and say, aha, huge fundraising edge for Wiley Nickel at this point. So he really is in the driver's seat. He says that's because outside interest groups like Club for Growth can make up the difference. But good luck following that money trail. You don't know as clearly as you do from the, the campaign figures themselves, how much money is flowing in from outside groups. But Nickel believes local support can translate into votes. A lot of, you know, out-of-state money supporting Bohans, you know, and we've got folks here in North Carolina um, in this community that, that are excited about this campaign. The Heinz campaign points to how much money they raised to win the primary, saying the numbers don't lie. Not only did Bo Heinz outraise out of touch Wiley Nickel, but he also came through a contentious primary. Voters and donors know that Wiley Nickel is too much of a leftist extremist in order to effectively represent our North Carolinian values. The contrast we saw, we've got an opponent who's running to put Donald Trump first. And, you know, I think that's what you saw in the numbers where you know, we, we had a tremendous amount of local support. Mm. Now, I want to make it clear that I yeah. did offer multiple times for Bo Hines to talk on camera about mm -hmm. this, just like Wiley Nickel, he declined, so that's why we had that statement. Right. Now, one indicator we'll see in the coming months, though, of how much outside money is coming in, we don't even need to see the, the spreadsheets. Right. You just watch television and you'll know a lot of where money. they're coming yeah. from. All right, Russ. Yeah.